this is the video pretty much on how to um, use the liquid UV bonding adhesive that um, you purchase. As you can see here, this is an iPhone 4 glass. iPhone 5 is pretty much similar that I separated. So you can see the original glass here and use a heat gun. And so now I got everything um, off and also I use um, orange glow. Or actually you can use Goo Gone. What you do with Goo Gone is um, you place it on top of the uh, remove glue. Okay. And then what it does is it breaks up the um, it breaks up the the adhesive. As you can see, this is before I put goo gone. This is one sample. This is after it's the glass is removed. And then I put goo gone on top of this area right here. Uh, you know what? Um, Q tip or actually a toothbrush. Toothbrush slightly work it into there and then what happened is it's gonna it's gonna dissolve the adhesive. Because this is this adhesive is not really hard adhesive. It's uh, heat activated and also it's it's tacky, so you can definitely use Goo Gone or some kind of oil-based um, uh, liquid to break up the um, adhesion. So after it's all removed, what you have is this, and and this is a pretty good glass. What I'm going to show you now is this right here. I'm going to also include because uh, I find that sometimes taping it will cause bubble. So this is pretty much silly putty I got from the Dollar Tree. All you need is to line it up, do a thin line around, frame it, and what it does is it's going to fill in all the gaps around the edges because there is a gap. That's going to uh, seal it from the from the liquid UV bonding uh, glue. Okay that will prevent you from um, having leakage into the back screen so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and uh, I'll show you okay okay so now as you can see I'm working myself around this little cardboard piece right here putting the um, putting the orange um, silly putty around the edges here and sealing it off okay Applying pressure on the edge, making sure there's no no leak that can go in behind the glass. And so, and you really don't want this orange glue thing, uh, silly putty, to go above the glass because um, once you put the liquid in, you and you're shifting it back and forth, you don't want it to actually spread along with the liquid, also you can have a display with a slight orange um, corner. Definitely don't want that, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and work it all around. All right, so now you can see, it's the uh, orange celly putty. It's surrounding, it's forming a gasket around the touch screen and the display to prevent the um, liquid from getting underneath and you can see I have it even below the glass line right there alright because when you put the liquid you want it to kind of like run off you don't want it to you don't want it when you move the glass for this orange to come in so you really put it on the edge okay just form a nice tight frame just to prevent liquid from getting into the reason why I use Sully Putty is because it's reusable and it um, forms a really nice tight rubbery seal okay now what I'm going to do is just uh, clean the surface off with um, with rubbing alcohol and Windex before I um, actually do the the uh, glass modeling when you do rubbing alcohol don't pour it straight on top put it on piece of uh, paper towel cloth and just work it right around it, work it through. Again, I only have two hands, I need, I need both of them to study this thing, so the next time you're going to see this video come on is 
when everything is already done. Okay, so now the surface is pretty clean. Um, you'll see some streaks over here, but as long as it's lint free, when the bonding agent comes on, it'll actually break up and you won't see the streak at all. It'll create a seamless merge. So I'm going to go ahead and do two, two dam drops right here and right here. Okay? Okay, before I actually do the dam drop, I've got to mention this is a we put the glass on again. The iPhone 5 glass is similar. It's just a little longer. This is the original Apple iPhone 4 glass. The process is pretty much the same. Okay? It's just it's a little more expensive for the iPhone 5 glass. And iPhone 4, you can actually get it from my site for um, $5 a glass as opposed to the $30 a glass on my um, for the iPhone 5. Uh, I'll, if I can get it cheaper, I will lower the price, but again, this is authentic Gorilla Glass made by Apple. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. What I want to do is put tape in this corner right here, and this edge right here, and barely on the edge here, and then on this side. So that way, once the adhesion happens, I can just peel off the tape and I'll have surface to work with. I will show you after I finish taping, so give me an idea how to tape. Now, you can see tape is being applied here. Okay, try to get a focus on it. All right, there you go. So I'm applying tape right in the corner, barely into it. You don't want it to tape into the glass because as as you, it's bonding, you're actually going to remove it. Okay. So if you put it too close into the actual frame, the display frame itself, it will cause a little void. You know, and definitely uh, rule of thumb keep it as close to the edge as possible enough for the tape to actually stick to prevent any kind of glue runoff that might mess up your final um, post-production cleanup all right you can see the actual display with two dam size drop of the uh, UV 340 um, display and again the, you're getting half an ounce so you can probably do up to like five or six screen with it use very little so I'm going to go ahead and put the glass on top, lining it up, making sure the speaker, um, I mean the, yeah, the, it's in right orientation. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that. And as you can see, it's being cured right now in the piece. I do apologize for sh not showing you how to uh, get the bubble out, but it's fairly easy. Okay, once you have it on a cardboard surface like I did, you can add just uh, apply pressure move it side to side, you know, apply both pressure in both hands. I need both hands so I don't have anybody to videotape for me. That's why um, and immediately after you um, you get all get rid of all the bubbles, just expose it to uh, go outside in the sun for like maybe a few minutes. Or if you have a UV uh, light, just put it right under the light bulb and apply pressure for about a minute or so and then um, it should automatically cure but now I'm putting it in for five minutes to fully cure it okay and then you notice I actually kept the tape on because um, I, I put the tape on on the edge so there's no need to to work it out and try to fill the void like I did in my first video this process is a lot easier and less messy okay and again um, with the um, discovery of the the silly putty it's really really um, helpful all right, so I'm gonna wait till this thing um, finish cooking for about five minutes under the UV light, and then we're gonna pull it out, start the post-production cleaning. Okay, so now, so now it's fully cured. I'm gonna start go, to go ahead and just um, peel off the the um, protected layer of plastic, as you can see. To show you, there's absolutely no bubble. Look at this; you can see it. Absolutely no bubbles. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna start to do the um, post cleaning, and then this is pretty much a complete display. Everything's working. So again, um, before I conclude the video, I will plug it into the iPhone also to show you. Okay. All right. So this is the, the display itself with um, plugging into the test phone. I always have a spare test phone to make sure the display works properly. So you can see the Apple startup screen is on. 
and I'm going to go ahead and try to save some video by um, waiting until the actual display comes up. Okay. All right, so now the display is up, as you can see, touch screen works. All right. It's a perfectly good working phone. You got a brand new display. You can pay attention to um, the. Make sure and make sure the adhesive don't go over the edge. Uh, use the silly putty. Make sure it forms a nice gasket because um, if you have it going through, you're going to have a leak. Uh, there's going to be a a liquid showing up on the display. As you can see here, if you do it right, you'll get a perfectly white screen.